Well, here we are at Blenheim Palace, the home of the CLA Game Fair this year. We're going to go and have a look around the show and see what's new. This year, the CLA Game Fair returned to Blenheim Palace, and what a fantastic three days it was. Spectacular thunderstorms on the Thursday evening failed to dampen spirits, and over 150,000 people enjoyed a real taste of the countryside and country sports. Gunmakers Row was packed with everything a shooting enthusiast would want to see, from all the leading gun companies, including Beretta and Purdy. There was truly something for everyone. We've just been uh, watching you do your uh, trick shooting again here at the CLA. Um, how many years have you been doing it now? Oh, it must be well over 35 years now. Yeah, and, uh, I still enjoy it. It's getting hard though, and as you get older. But um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 the crowd love it, and I do like to do it, although it is hard work and I'm hurting a little bit. But uh, you know, that's, that's what comes with age. <laughs> And, and with, with that, John, I mean, the, the gun that you got here, that's pretty much been with you for about 35 years, yeah, I've got Yeah, I've got two or three of these Winchesters um, models. Because they don't make them anymore and you can't get the parts from them. In fact, I'm actually buying old guns now to get the bits out of them to keep them going. And, uh, yeah, they seem to work quite well and uh, they, they, they look the part, they're silver, they look the part, you know. And, um, yeah, there's not much else really. There are other guns on the market now, but just keep for these old things, they keep going, you know, and they're simple, simple to repair and everything else. So, yeah. Good. Uh, with that, John, we've, we've seen two or three hundred people watching this. You know, how can we make the sport more professional in this country? Well, I think you know, obviously, I've tried, I've tried for many years to, to you know, to get the professionalism, you know, into the game, and I've, I've, I've done, I've done some professional competitions. You know, at places like the CLA uh, in Birmingham, the NEC in Birmingham, I remember for years ago, we did some, some, some um, full, full gun challenge shoots there. Uh, and uh, the, the way to do it really is, is to take the sport to the general public, not to try and do it behind closed doors like some of them have done. Um, they've had some lovely competitions, but they're putting them on shooting grounds where no one is there. The, the way to do it is to bring it to the public eye, is to bring it to the CLA, like the game fair, where there's thousands of people here, 130,000, maybe 150,000 here, I don't know, this weekend. So, um, and places like Farnborough Air Show, for instance, that's the place to go and promote the sport, you know, and this is the, what I've been, you know, banging on about for many years, but no one seems to get the grips of it and seems to want to do it, you know, I don't know why. Um, I think, um, I'm not blaming the organisations, I think it's, 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 it's mainly left to, you know, left to individuals like myself to promote the sport. I mean, we've changed the CLA game fair over the years, last like, 12 years I've been doing this now, and we've changed it, we've brought it from 40 bird shoot to all the pay and clay, still got bent back for a 40 bird shoot because that works the best formula, but with eight stands. So we've, you know, we've, we've brought it forward and, and you know, some of the, you know, Graham Sturzdake was saying yesterday and, uh, and Dave Carey was saying, you know, this is the best shoot you know, at the, at, the, at the fairs, you know, this is done professionally and it's done right. And, uh, you know, just, just the way you've got to present the sport. And you've got all the, associations, all the associations here backing it up as well, doing the instruction there at hand. So I think this is the way to bring it forward, is to take shooting to the general public and set it up in a professional you know, way like this, the top shooter shooting head to head in the competition for food, you know, food, you know, a little bit of prize money. And then, um, the CPSA and all the other organisations next door recruiting these people. That's what 
way to do it. And, and with that, John, today, we saw a couple of ladies come out who looked like they'd never ever shot before and they hit some targets straight away. Well, they just, just, just did, you know. Natural iron hand coordination plays the biggest part, as you know, Phil, in this game. And it's just knowing how to put it over. And with a simple basic technique, it just works. And I, as you know, I devised my own method and it works. And I just carry on with it. And I'm 67 years old and I'm still winning. So, you know, it just goes to show that, you know, if you have a method and it works, stick with it and, and consistency prevails at the end of the day. And, and also, though, I mean, you know, it's about getting people in. I mean, juniors is massively important, isn't it, to get juniors in it? Yeah, well, we, we, we do a massive job down at High Lodge, you know. We don't run many uh, so much championships like we used to, but we do recruit a lot of people into the game. So we're doing a hell of a job recruiting new, new blood into the sport, and that's what we do. And with that as well, you know, looking looking at competition side now, there's a lot more younger shots coming through to the field. You've oh. seen Odd Solomons do fantastically in Portugal. Oh yeah, unbelievable. Some of these youngsters now are the of the game. You know, I just look back and think, I oh, shoot like that one day. You know, and and they're just they're just so far ahead. And and the scores, you know, I mean, I won the world championship on seven occasions. You know, in in, in the different categories, three times as a senior, and I won it with a, a one seven eight in Australia. I won it with a one eight five in in uh, in Spain and a one eight six. In England at Goodwood, and 186 was a good score. You know, I don't know when one nine ones. You know, so it, it's 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 a different game. The level has come up, and because you know it is harder to keep there. But now and again, you come through. You know, now and again. In fact, just a couple of years ago, I managed to win the British Grand Prix outright with a 189. You know, when it happens, but at the end, consistency prevails. If you've got good technique, now and again, it it happens. champion of champions saw the county champion from each county in England shoot off for the ultimate title of champion of champions. Top names including Paul Lovick, Nick Portlock and Richard Bunning shot through the knockout stages but it was Sean Stacey who came through to win the title. Sean, champion of champions, how's that feel? Oh, it's great. It's been a long, hot, sticky day, and <laughs> and to get to the end and win against the competition is great. And in terms of the format, you know, the, the targets are there to be hit, aren't they? But pressure certainly tells. It does. I think missing gets kind of everyone misses at one, and you start thinking, oh dear, and it's easy done. Uh, very, very hard actually. I think yeah. in front of so many people, a uh, great thing for clay shooting to see people shoot clays. Yeah. Well, obviously, just point when we miss because we want to show everyone we could, yeah. we're good and encourage them to come and have a go, really. We're certainly near the end, a little bit of pressure on you there. We saw, we saw the target missed right at the end. Careless. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know I'd won it, so it, was a, it certainly wasn't. Yeah, pressure. Yeah. I think pressure, you're, you're tired, it's a long day. You, I've already shot 100 odd birds today already, and, and in front of everyone, yeah, pressure, we're out of date. And certainly, though, it's nice really here at the CLA that you know, there's a really good audience, there's a couple hundred people watching you there, and it's great to have that kind of support, isn't it? It's wonderful. You know, it's. Uh, all the shoot-offs, we like to show, it's, nice to show, it's nice to show off, we all like it, we're competitors, yeah. we like to show people what we can do, and it's amazing throughout the year how many people say, come and say, oh, I saw you shoot at the game fair, or I saw you shoot at the shoot-off, and, and yeah, it's nice, it gives a bit of a warm feeling that actually, you know, we're making a bit of difference. And for you, do you think the sport is starting to change, getting a bit more professional now? Um, yes, I, for certain, I think there are now more people obviously earning a living from it, and it's nice, it, I just hope we can turn a bit more professional, truthfully. Yeah. I think we've we got some great talent in this country, and 
you know, we saw the best senior shots and some of the best young shots coming up. It'd be nice to see them, you know, actually be able to think, oh, there's something in it, rather than it's just a Sunday morning event, really. And certainly you've got a big trophy there. Yeah, it is a big trophy, yeah. isn't it? I'm glad I don't have to clean it. I think it goes straight back to the CPSA, <laughs> but my, 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 one. this one's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations Great, again. Thank, and thank you very much. Time. Great, thank Thanks, you very Sean. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Well Shooting Ground held a festival of down-the-line shooting, hosting the Home International, the British Open and the European Championships over a five-day period. The Home International was won by England with high gun Paul Chaplow, the British Open by Phil Morgan and the European Championship was won by Paul Chaplow with Matthew Coward Holly second and Emma Wielden third. In stunning settings, we watched the Hungarian Compact Grand Prix, where our sole GB competitor, Glenn Priestley, shot off in a thrilling shoot-off to take silver, just behind Jacob Iverson. We will be featuring more and more from Europe and beyond in the coming weeks on Clay Shooting TV.